everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are on a roll with the Goodreads list because they came out with their list for the books for April. Yesterday I posted the fiction and I will post that link underneath here. Today is nonfiction, okay? So top five books that Goodreads has picked for nonfiction for April. And like I say to you guys, every single month, they do not disappoint. Okay, any book on these lists, they're always right. So let's begin. Number one, Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb comes out uh, next week, April 2nd, 432 pages. Eva Longoria has already bought the rights to this book. Um, ABC is putting it out as a TV series. It's a humorous book. I already got it. <laughs> I was like, I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, I have to read it. First of all, I love funny books. Second of all, if it was that good that they picked it up that quickly, I have to read it. So that one is for sure. Number two, Southern Lady Code by Helen Ellis. Um, comes out April 16th, 224 pages. Nice short book. Um, it's also humor. This is kind of a theme this month, I see. About Southern Manners. This is her third book. She lives in Alabama, so I think she does know about Southern manners, right? And you know what? I heard that it's like she teaches you like the, the best way to say something negative. And I love how the Southerners do that. They're like putting you down, but in such a nice way you think it's a compliment. So that book sounds like a lot of fun. And it's quick. It's a quick read. So I'm sure I will be reading that. Um, number three, The Moment of Lift. How empowering women change how empowering women changes the world. Even when I read that the first time, I was like, wait, you gotta read it really slow. How empowering women changes the world. It sounded like it was wrong at first, but I'm sure it's not. April 23rd, 288 pages, and I didn't even tell you who it was by. <laughs> Melinda Gates, Bill Gates' wife. Um, it's, they say it's kind of like a, a lot memoir. I don't know that I'm going to be reading this book. I was thinking, let's see, how many pages did I say? 288. It's a quick read, but, um, there are some memoirs that I, that come out and I'm like, yes, I'm all in. I love memoirs, but I just don't know if I'm that interested in Melinda yet. Maybe, maybe someday I'll read it. I'm sure it's good. It's on this list. Okay. I'm sure it's amazing. I just don't know if I care about Melinda so much yet. Maybe I will care soon. Okay. She looks like a lovely person though, doesn't she? She looks very sweet. I just, I don't know. I got a lot of books to read. Let's put it that way. But you know, it is a quick read. So, but if you care about Melinda, you, it's got to be good to be on this list. Okay. So number four, Greek to Me by Mary Morris comes out this next week, um, April 2nd, 240 pages. And her books are about grammar. And this one's about the alphabet. And supposedly it's a lot of history mixed in with a lot of a, a memoir for her. And like 240 pages, that one does seem really good, actually. I'm going to try to read that. Um, plus, I love like the history of the language. Uh, her last one was about punctuation. So that would be pretty fun, too. Because don't we just all screw up punctuation all the time? I And you know what? Yeah, I do even like, I always think that it looks right and then I'll second guess myself and be completely wrong. So, and I did pretty well in English, but I, you know, punctuation is always tricky. Um, and I forget, I think it's called something about you and me between you and me. I don't know. Anyway, you can check out her. Uh, I'll see if I can post it. If I, if by the, by the time I'm editing this, if I find it, I will put it up there. Um, number five, What My Mother and I Don't Talk About by Michelle Philgate comes out April 30th, 288 pages. It's 15 essays from different women who talk about their relationship with their mothers and what they do and don't talk about. Oh my gosh, I could write one of those essays. My mom passed away in 2011, but I have daughters now too. And it's just interesting because I'll look back and go, I told my mom, I'll, I'll say, I told my mom everything, but I know I didn't. I know I censored what I told my mom. You know, we always want to present the perfect picture to our mothers. Like, you know, our life is perfect. Our children are perfect. 
nothing is ever wrong until it is so wrong that the only choice you have is to tell your mom. Like I would wait, I'd be like, my children are perfect, everybody's great, everybody, and then something would happen and I'd call her and be like, guess what happened, oh my God, and she'd be like, I thought everybody was good, and you're like, no, I just said that, it wasn't good. <laughs> so I can't wait to read that book, I bet it's so good, and I've heard that a lot of it's funny, and a lot of it's sweet, and moving, and touching. So let's go through these books one more time so you can see the full cover. Number one, maybe you should talk to someone, Lori Gottlieb, and um, about her, she is a psychotherapist, and this is about, you know, maybe you should talk to someone. It's about like her own therapy. So I cannot wait to read that book. Number two, Southern Lady Code, Helen Ellis, 224 pages. Another one looks amazing. Number three, The Moment of Lift by Melinda Gates. Um, another one, 288 pages, comes out April 23rd. Don't know if I'm going to read that one yet. I may change my mind though. Uh, number four, Greek to Me by Mary Morris, a book about the alphabet, only 248, 240 pages, um, comes out April 2nd. And then number five, What My Mother and I Don't Talk About, Michelle Filgate comes out at the end of the month. 288 pages. Can't wait to read that one. So, you know, we've got a, like a lot of humorous books and memoirs and, you know, looks really, really fun. Are they all written by women? Yes, 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 yes. They're all written by women too. So that's amazing. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. It is Friday afternoon and I wanted to get this out. I'm going to get, I'm going to finish up these book lists over the weekend because it's April 1st on Monday. So I got to get to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like if you enjoy these and uh, thanks for watching.